Hey guys, I hope you're well. In today's video, I'll show you how to transfer an eSIM from an Android phone to an iPhone. Oops, oh, thank God I have Apple Care. Overall, there are four eSIM transfer scenarios, Android to iPhone, iPhone to iPhone, iPhone to Android, and Android to Android. In this particular video, we'll be talking about the first scenario, which is Android to iPhone. Now, generally, there are at least three ways in which you can transfer your eSIM from one phone to another. Number one, Carrier's app. You can use the app from your mobile operator, also known as Carrier. This one can be used to transfer eSIM between any two phones, whether Android or iPhone. But what I've actually seen is that some of these apps require you to enter the IMEI number, etc., which for me is a real hassle. The second one is iPhone to iPhone from the settings menu. If the eSIM transfer is between two iPhones, then you can do it directly from your settings menu because Apple makes it a lot easier. There are of course limitations to this one as well. Firstly, it is possible that your mobile operator may still require you to use the QR code to, well, maybe create some limitations to this process. One of the largest mobile operators in the UK is already doing that. Secondly, this process is just for iPhone to iPhone transfer and not for Android to iPhone or iPhone to Android. The third one is manual transfer. The manual transfer requires you to have the QR code handy so that you can remove your eSIM from your Android phone and install it on your iPhone. That is what I'll be showing you today. If you look up online, some people might say to you, Oh, you must uh, back up your data before you transfer the eSIM, etc., etc., which is fine, of course, safety first, right? But just so you know, moving an eSIM from one phone to another is just like moving a physical SIM. It doesn't really delete any data per se. For your information, just to do this video, I had to delete my eSIM from my iPhone at least three times. Well, that's mainly because I forgot to take all the screenshots the first two times, but the point is, that everything is working just fine on my iPhone. Now, if you talk to your mobile operator, they may advise you that your QR code can only be used once. And it is possible that for your mobile operator, that may be the case. In my case, though, I use the same QR code many times to transfer from Android to iPhone and iPhone to Android. So let's go through a step-by-step -step approach to transfer your eSIM from Android to iPhone. The first thing you need to do is to make sure that your QR code is available. If you received multiple QR codes from your operator, then make sure you have the latest one available because that's the only one that is valid. If you're not sure about this, then go to the website of your mobile operator or call them to confirm the approach. In any case, you can only have one particular eSIM on one phone at any given time. Even if you get a new QR code for your eSIM, you will still need to delete your eSIM profile from the old phone so that you can scan the QR code or new QR code from the new phone. This is just an example showing you how to delete an eSIM from a Google Pixel phone, which is an Android phone. So basically you select delete SIM here. So tap that thing. That'll take you to this screen. So tap the erase button and your eSIM will be removed from this phone. The next step now is to download the eSIM on your iPhone by scanning the QR code. So what do you need to do now? Get the QR code handy, like this. And then, pick up your iPhone, make sure you're connected to the Wi-Fi network, then go to your phone's settings. Select mobile service. Remember, mobile service may be called something else like cellular, or cellular plan, or data plan, or something similar. Whatever it's called, just tap it. Then select Add eSIM. Again, depending on your phone model or country, it may say Add cellular plan, or something along those lines. On this screen, select Set up mobile service. If you see this screen, just select other options, which is at the bottom. Since we're transferring from an Android phone as opposed to an iPhone, select Use QR code. Scan the QR code that you got from your mobile operator or mobile service provider. Now remember, you must have the latest QR code from your mobile operator for the eSIM you're trying to install. If the eSIM scan is not successful, you will see this screen. Reason for unsuccessful scan? This eSIM may already be in use on a different phone, or this QR code may be an old one and you may have an updated one available from your operator. 
If everything goes well and the eSIM scan is successful, you'll see this screen. Press continue. Let it all happen. Up to you which one you choose. That will not impact your eSIM installation. Press done and you are done. That's it. Thanks for watching the video, guys. If you like this video, please hit the like button and make sure to subscribe to the channel because I'm posting new videos all the time.